Well, this is the set that started this whole sorry affair of collecting all this junk. This is a, a 224 uh, pre-war. And I got out of the Navy in 1973 and spent a lot of time in New York City uh, there at the very end. So I went to uh, Madison Hardware Store, various other places. Uh, um, FAO Schwartz, they had a hell of a layout up there uh, in their toy section. But I was always fascinated by pre-war. So when I got out of the service in 73, I think this was picked up in late 74 is when I got it. And I gave a hundred bucks for it. It was a, uh, it's a passenger set. Uh, I hate passenger sets. I don't know why. I just do. And then, like I say, this was my first. And then the Ives, this Ives 3242 and the two passenger cars. Once again, something I hate. Uh, that was the very first uh, standard gauge set that I bought. I gave 160 bucks for that a long time ago. In fact, that would have had to have been about 1980 or 81. I think I got it right after my daughter was born. But uh, I've always been amazed at uh, the pulling power of the 3242. Uh, I mean, it's not that big of an engine. And you know how these standard gauge cars are, the Series 10s and the Ives. Uh, uh, it isn't exactly like they're on Timken bearings. But uh, it does a pretty good job. And... Uh, I've always been kind of glad that I got both of them. So let's see if both of them will run without uh, any problems. That 3242 can pull a hell of a train. I could even pull more cars, uh, put more cars on it if I wanted to. I was in love with the uh, 224 when I first got it. I ran it a lot, a lot under the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm happy with my purchases after all these years. No complaints. If I had to get rid of everything, I would keep the 224 in its set and the uh, 3242. The rest of it could all go to the dumpster if it had to. Alright guys, have a great week. We'll talk with you later. Toodaloo.